Spanga fam. Welcome back to some homework. My name is Marissa and I'm one of the instructors here. If you haven't been in studio with us before at Spanga Tucson, we do 20 minutes of spin, 20 minutes of strength, and 20 minutes of yoga all combined together to give you one awesome workout. It really is the best workout ever. Awesome 60 minutes that you can spend with your day. So today I have Ignite for you. We are going to do 30 seconds of one strength exercise 30 seconds of another, and we're gonna alternate those three times, and then we have a 60 second cardio burnout, but then you get a 60 second recovery or rest where you can grab water, towel yourself off, and all of that good stuff. We are doing a full body today, so one set of each body part, really quick and easy, about 20 minutes are on the clock. So before you jump into this video, make sure that you have warmed up a little bit. So maybe go do a five, 10 minute walk before jumping into this. All you are going to need today is one singular set of dumbbells or um, matching weights, soup cans or water bottles. Anything that you have is totally fine. You can definitely do all of this with bands or kettlebells as well. So work with what you've got at home. No stress if you don't have equipment either. We can figure it out together. So when you are ready, grab the stuff that you need, make sure you have a bottle of water, and let's get to work. All right, my friends, our first round of exercises, we have a shoulder press. So you are gonna take those dumbbells, soup cans, whatever you've got up overhead, and we're gonna alternate them. So one arm and then the other, working your way through that 30 seconds. Then we are going to take it into a bent over row. So you're gonna hinge at that waist, I want you to keep the palms facing towards you. You have the option to do both or singles here as well. We'll alternate those for three times each, and then we're gonna take it into our cardio, cardio burnout, which I have for you, some inchworms. So we're gonna take it down, walk those hands all the way out to a nice high plank, walk them back in, and we're gonna jump at the top in between. So when you're ready, grab those dumbbells, and we're gonna get ready to work in three, two, one, let's rock. All right, so we're going right into those overhead presses, alternating here for me. It's only 30 seconds at a time, so you know you can handle it. That is no time at all, a fraction of your day. Keep it working, my friends. We have about 12 seconds to go, and then we are taking it directly into those bent over rows. So hang on to it, keep it going, for four, three, two, one. Switching it out, bent over rows. Yes, you can. We are gonna rock this out, taking our time, alternating, or both at once. Whatever feels good on your body. Keep that energy high, enjoy your workout. Even if things are starting to burn, they're starting to feel spicy, I want you to dig in and remind yourself that that is where we get all of the hard work done. Give me three, two, one. We're taking it back into those overhead presses. So nice, strong stance, little bend through the knees. Your abs are engaged through all of these movements. We have a nice, solid core. Let's go. You can do this. 15 seconds left here. Then we are taking it directly back into those bent over rows. I know you are working hard at home. You are giving me everything you have. Controlled reps, the weights aren't controlling you. Give me three, two, one. Back into those bent over rows. We are digging in, finding that strength. Maybe alternating, that's all right. Maybe together, also great. Squeezing those lats, that upper back together here for me. You are already 30, or sorry, you are already over halfway through this workout. We are taking it back into those shoulder presses for one more round. In five, four, three, two, and one. Up overhead, alternating. Last time here with those shoulder presses. Awesome, my friends. We should be starting to heat up, feel our body burning just a little bit through those shoulders, through that upper back. That is what we want. Don't forget, this is your last time here. So don't give up on it. Give me 10 more seconds of these shoulder presses. We're gonna take it back into those bent over rows in three, two, and one. Let's go, my friends. After this, we are going right into those inchworms. Yes, we are. Let's go. 
nice and controlled. So you can see I'm not speeding through that movement, but rather I'm really taking my time on both the eccentric and concentric movements. You are gonna give me seven more seconds here, and then we are dropping those weights, going right into our inchworms with the jump in between. Three, two, one. Jump it up, walk those arms out, nice high plank, walk them back in, taking it back into that jump. So finding that inchworm, we are here for a full minute. This is that burnout. Cardio is cardio, but it is a good time. So great for our heart health, awesome for our bodies. Building that endurance only helps our strength practice. You are halfway through these inchworms, my friends. Give me what you got. Let's go, walk them out, walk them back in, jump it up in between. Maybe finding that in you to do an extra reach, put a little extra strain on those abs. You have 10 more seconds here, and then you get a full minute rest. Yes, you can. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Take that rest. All right, grab some water if you need it. Our next three exercises. So we have deadlifts. I want you to hinge at the hips. Bringing those weights down a little bit below the knees, about halfway through the shins, and drawing it back up. You can see my chest is forward, shoulders are back. All right. Our second exercise, reverse lunges. Step it back. We're going to alternate the whole time. So no holding, no pulsing. Just walk it out. Our cardio is skaters. So nice little hop side to side. So taking it across and across. Use those arms, little momentum. You can always step it out. Any of these, you can drop the weights for as well. With the deadlifts and the lunges, make sure that core is squeezed nice and tight. Grab those weights. We've got three, two, one. Starting off with those deadlifts. So a nice hang. Feel the glutes and hamstrings stretching and pulling. Make sure our head is in line with the spine. Working it out here, my friends. You are halfway through this first set. Everything you've got. Nice and quick full body workout. We are switching to those lunges in three, two, and one. So options here are to drop those weights. You don't have to touch the back knee all the way down. If you have the room for it, you can take it into walking lunges, front lunges, whatever feels good on your body today is just fine. Find a way to work with what you've got, all right? You are gonna give me seven more seconds here and then we're taking it back into those deadlifts for round two. In three, two, and one. Let's go, grab those weights. Yes, you can. Nice hinge and pull. Awesome, my friends. So we're not moving super fast but you don't need to tempo this either. I want you to just keep it as a controlled movement. 10 more seconds here. Let's go, my homework friends. You've got this. All the way through that buzzer, all right? Don't end early. Give me three, two, and one. Reverse lunges, let's go. You are officially halfway through the strength portion of this round. Ignite is spicy, but it's really, really quick. All right, we've only got four rounds today. That is it. Beautiful. You are giving me 13 more seconds of these lunges. Everything you've got, taking it right here. Super stable, super controlled. Yes, my friends, three, two, one. Deadlifts, yes. Take it down and back. You can always drop those weights. Hinging helps our glutes, our hamstrings, that low back with or without weight. All right, my friends, let's go. You've got this at home. You are gonna give me 10 more seconds of work here. This is your last set of deadlifts. You can do anything in this exercise. Four, three, two, and one. Reverse lunges, 30 seconds left. That is all you've got. Even if you hate lunges, all we've done is 90 seconds of them. That is 
barely a fraction of your day. Let's go. 15 seconds left here. Give me what you got. If you have to drop those weights, drop them. Do what you can. Almost there. We have five, four, three, two, one. Skaters taking it right in. Cardio burnout. Let's go. One minute. In and out. Across. Find that jump. Get into a rhythm. Do what you need to do. If you got to step it out, then you step it out. You find what works on your body today. You can give me those aggressive jazzercise arms. If that's fun for you, add the clap. Go here. Maybe if jumping jacks feel better, go there. Truthfully, all I want you to do is something that gets that heart rate up. It gets your body moving. It gets you sweating a little bit more, all right? Let's go. You have 20 seconds left of this cardio. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to dig in and get it done? This is your only leg section. We have two more rounds today. Let's go. You are going to give me seven more seconds, my friends. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, you did. All right. Grab some water. Take that rest. Our next round of exercises. Some of my favorites, I love, love, love to work arms. We are going to alternate a wide curl and a hammer curl. So one is wide, one is in hammer stance. And you're gonna alternate flipping and serving the platter with one arm and making our palm face in towards the midline with the other. Your second strength exercise, we have overhead extensions. I'm taking both dumbbells together behind my head and pressing up. Little bend through the knees, making sure we are stable there. Option to just do those with one dumbbell. Your cardio this round, we have squat twist, taking it down, knee to elbow, down, knee to elbow, to finish out that final minute. Grab those dumbbells, we're going into our curls in three, two, and one, alternating it out. You can opt to just do the hammer curls. You can alternate where you do one and one, and then switch if your arms are on fire, but do what feels good for you. So we're hitting multiple heads of that bicep with these curls. You have 10 more seconds, and then we are going into those overhead triceps extensions. Give me three, two, and one. Switch it up. So like I said, option, you can hold one dumbbell horizontally and take it here. Make sure your elbows are pointing forward, Make sure that we are not locking out those knees. Whatever you have to do to make this workout work for you, my friends, let's go. You can do hard things. You have seven seconds left here. We're taking it back into those bicep curls. In three, two, and one. So alternating. Find that nice, smooth contraction and switch. Kind of looks like I'm dancing when I'm not using weights, but you can do this without weights. You are gonna feel it in those biceps no matter what. These movements are great for any and everyone. Let's go. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Overhead extensions. Back up. Let's go. Whew. Round two is always a spicy one here. It's the one where you really have to dig in and tell yourself mentally, yes, I can do this. Yes, I'm ready to put that work in. You are gonna give me 10 more seconds here. No matter where you are, finish it out nice and strong. One more set of bicep curls, one more set of those extensions. Three, two, one, curl it out. Yes, you can. Whew. We've got this. Everything you have right here. This is your last set of biceps today. Yes, you can. 15 seconds, let's go. One more set of triceps as, as well, and then we've got some chest and we've got some core for our final round. Full body all the way through. Give me three, two, one. Overhead extensions. Don't forget, we have a one minute cardio burnout after this of those squat twists. 
digging in here, finding that drive to finish it out. Even if our arms are on fire, our arms should be burning at least a little bit here. 10 more seconds. I want you to dig in and we are gonna quickly drop those weights, finding our squat twist in three, two, one. Take it down, elbow to knee. These are one of my favorite cardio burnouts, one of my favorite cardio movements in all of Spanga. I can't tell you why, they just burn in a really evil and a really good way. Get them done, let's go. You are already 20 seconds in, that is one third gone. And then you don't have to do this exercise again today. That is sort of the beauty of Ignite, of a lot of our exercises. You can mentally dig in because it is just that one round that you have to make it through. Give me 25 more seconds, squatting and twisting. Maybe you're able to pick up the pace a little bit, or if you need to, just step it out. I just want you to finish the round however you can, my friends. Let's go, you are almost there. Give me 10 more seconds. We only have one round to go. That is it, last five, four, three, two, one. Take that rest, grab that water. All right, for our last round, we are taking it down onto the ground. We have a chest press. So we are taking it right here. Bonus points if you take it into a bridge and press from here, but that is optional. So we're gonna take it up and down. Option two, alternate if that feels good for you. After that, you're gonna drop one dumbbell. We're gonna take our legs up, reaching for the toes for 30 seconds. So we're staying on that spine. Our cardio burnout, we're gonna quickly flip it on over. I want you to take it into a push-up and then hop those feet into a sprawl. Push-up is optional, sprawl is not. Let's grab those dumbbells, take it down onto the floor if you aren't here already with me, and we're gonna get going with that chest press in three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds on for that chest press. Remember your options. You can take it into that bridge, tucking those shoulders underneath you, or you can keep the hips down. Find what feels good on your body today. We've got 12 more seconds here, and then we're gonna take it in to those toe touches, those weighted toe touches. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it there. You can always opt to drop this dumbbell and just reach it out. Remember, this is your workout. I am simply your conductor, bringing you through the moves but you gotta do what works for your body today. Almost there. You are giving me 10 more seconds of these toe touches. We're taking it back into our chest press. You've got two more rounds of each, let's go. We've got three, two, and one. Switch it out, we are going into our chest press. So really squeeze in through the muscles of the chest, pushing forward and slower on the descent than your ascent. You are halfway through this set already, my friends. Almost there. We are getting back into it. Chest and core to finish out our Ignite. Yes, that is awesome. Keep working, my friends. You've got three, two, one. Toe touches. So back on that spine, flex the toes, reaching up with those arms. Squeeze through the entire core here. Okay, we are almost there. You are halfway through this set already. We've got one more set of chest, one more set of abs, and that is it. I can't believe we are almost done. Yes, beautiful, you are oh, so close. Give me a few more reps. We've got three, two, one. Chest press, let's go. So with or without that bonus work for our bridge, tucking those shoulder blades underneath us, really sinking into that movement, slower on the way down than the way up. Yes, awesome everyone, 12 more seconds here, and then we are taking it in to that last set of toe touches. In five, four, three, two, and one. Reach it up and out for me. Then we're gonna finish it off with that cardio burnout, those push-ups to sprawl, Final 
full body movements. Beautiful. Hang on to it here for me. I want to see the quickest transition that you have ever made in about 12 seconds. How many reps can you get in before that? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below how you feel. Find me on Instagram. Three, two, one. Flip it over, let's go. You can take that push up on those knees and then I want you to hop the feet up. Take it back. Push up to sprawl, my friends. One minute here. This is your final 40 seconds of this workout. This is where you mentally decide, yes, I'm going to finish this out and I'm going to give it everything I have. Because what is 30 seconds of my day? It is the smallest portion. And this may be hard right now, but an hour from now, I'm going to be so glad I did it. Yes, you can. Let's go. 20 more seconds. That is it. You are so close to being there. If you drop it just into the sprawls, that's okay. You can ditch that push-up if your body is like, whoa, no more push-ups today. All right, you're gonna give me five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, my friends. Great job today. I am so impressed with your hard work. You can't even imagine. It's so amazing. Stand on up for me. We're gonna take a couple nice big breaths, starting to get that heart rate down. Take the arms out like a T, spread those legs apart. Big reach to the sky. Exhale, slide one hand down the leg. Nice reach. Good, let's take it to the other side. Reach it over. Couple big breaths in and out. Back to the other side. And one more time. Just finding that openness through the chest. Let's take it into a nice forward fold here. Take the hands towards the mat. You can have the hands on the shins as well. Couple big breaths. Slowly take it all the way back up to stand. Great job today, my friends. You killed it. Absolutely amazing. I am so proud of you. Make sure you drink a little bit of extra water today. Have a snack. You've earned it. And I will catch you next time.